Stanley is the name of the street, but I think I'm gonna have to GPS it. But I'm gonna have to call you later, Harvey. Because I'm working. I don't know, till late. I'll call you later. Yeah. Okay, see ya. What are you doing here? You ordered Chinese? Oh, I did. Just put her on the front step. Opened. Just on the doorstep? Opened. Okay. Why can't you come? I already told you. Okay, first of all, your job is not a real thing. Okay, you choose your own hours. You don't have a boss that makes you show up or anything. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Harvey, I'm working tonight. End of discussion. I gotta pay for college somehow. Yeah, why aren't, why aren't your parents helping you out with that? I don't know, but buying my car hasn't helped anything. Apparently, I'm not responsible with my money. Huh. Does your dad know you bought a piece of crap? Do you want a ride or not? I would like a ride, please. Then shut up and get in. Shutting up. Getting in. Shotgun. Oh, Stephanie posted a video. Oh. Well, that's sad. I don't even want to know. No, no, no. It, it legitimately is sad this time. Watch. That Eleanor got hit by a car. Wait, her cat died? Yeah. Oh, isn't that sad? Um, we're going to bury her in the back said... this evening. Uh, where am I? Wait, is she having a line? funeral for it? I've set up a GoFundMe. Is she to for assist real? The burial expenses and the memorial. Uh, I think so. <laughs> She's for real. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to donate so, to a GoFundMe? No. I think it'd be fun. It's not a thing. It we is. We don't a have GoFundMe's. We gotta throw a cat funeral. Cat. Are you sure you can't come tonight? Yep. Next time though, I promise. Hey, I'm starting to miss you. Seriously. See ya.
Joel Harvey. Hello? Hey, how come? But I can't stay the whole time. No, it's awesome. Uh, we're starting the movie around 7. I'll, I'll see you there. I'm excited. See ya. Okay, bye. Hey, Mom. Hey, how was school? Fine. Any homework? Yeah, I have uh, biology and chemistry. I'm gonna go work on it right now. Good deal. Uh, so I was thinking about hanging with some friends tonight. Maybe watch a scary movie or something. With Harvey? Yeah. Your dad's not gonna be happy about that. Okay, what is wrong with Harvey? Nothing's wrong with him, but I can't change what your dad thinks. Besides, I thought you were supposed to be working tonight. I am. I mean, I will for a little bit. Your dad is really not gonna be happy about that. Well, it's not like he's ever happy about anything I do. Uh, okay, that's not true. <sighs> anyway, he said he'd get back to me by Wednesday. So I told oh. him that'd be all right. You go with the water? You yes, water? thank you. Hey! Hey. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just getting in a couple extra hours of work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's dinner. Well, I already accepted the order. What? Frank, I mean, come on. You're upset with her when she's not working, and now you're gonna be upset with her because she is working? I mean, which... I'm not upset. Do I look upset? I'm not upset. I'm just saying it's dinner time. This is the time when the three of us, we sit down and we have something to eat. So Since that's all. when? Since when have you ever cared about that with her? Maybe I'm trying to make up for lost time. You know what I'm doing here? Thank you. Hey, you made it. Hey guys, Mary's here. Come here, you can choose a spot on the couch. Steph, can you move? Thank you. Hey. Hey, Steve. Hey, glad you made it. Hi, Stephanie. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about your cat. All right, uh, so I think we're still waiting for a couple people to show up. Uh, you want some um, candy corn? Sure, yeah. Man, your dad has like a hundred old monster movies. The Beast of Yucca Flats? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of his thing. We don't have to watch that one, though. Um, we got... Ooh, The Haunting! Oh, have you seen The Haunting? The old one? Yeah. Mm, we can't watch that one. Okay, um, what about... We... Ooh, Shining, Kubrick, classic. <laughs> we could do something like, um, like Dracula. Because there are a ton of versions of that we could choose from. Mm. I just really don't like any bloody movies. So, like, no horror movies at all? Or, you know, anything Halloween-y? No. Okay, um, that's fine. I mean, that's, like, the whole reason that we're doing this. But that's okay. We can figure something out. Uh, that leaves us, like, Hocus Pocus. Oh, man. Halloween, too. What's up? What's up, man? I'm really sorry. I'm gonna have to take this order. My dad will find out if I don't. I'm supposed to be working tonight. Who's it for? Mr. Murphy. Oh, good luck. I know, right? Anyway, um, thanks for the invite and the candy corn, Harvey. Yeah, for sure. Uh, may maybe you could um, like come over after or something. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe. Bye, everybody. Bye. Just leave it on the step again. Opened. Sure. No tip again. This is 
gonna get old fast. Here we go. Yes, Dad, you can come in. Hi. How was work tonight? Fine. I, uh... I wanted to apologize for getting after you at dinner. You're working hard. And, uh, it's a good thing. So were you busy? Busy enough. I had to leave Harvey's party after five minutes to deliver Chinese takeout to our creepy neighbor again. Hmm. You know how I feel about Harvey, but you, at least you did the responsible thing and left when work called. I appreciate that. <sighs> you know, I'm glad to see Seamus is using the out. He'll, uh, he'll make a good customer. Oh, wait. You showed him the app? Yeah. Why? Oh, my gosh. What? What are you complaining about? It was the neighborly thing to do. He'll be a, he'll be a regular customer for you. I uh, don't want him as a regular customer. What? Why? Did you bother to show him how to leave a tip? A tip? Mary, tips are for good service, not for just showing up and doing your job. You should be nice to him, seriously. He's had a hard life. Okay. Okay. Just leave it on the doorstep. Open! You know, I'm not your personal delivery girl. You ever hear of a tip? Tip? Yeah. I've been delivering Chinese here for a week. You know how far Wings is? You know how much I get paid doing this? No. And I don't care. I pay to order food. You get paid to deliver food. Goodbye. What is your problem? Excuse me? Why are you being such a jerk? I'm only delivering here because my dad expects me to. And I'm only ordering on that confounded phone because my neighbor said his daughter was saving money for college. Well, that is going to take a lot longer if you don't tip. I would only tip for exceedingly good service, which I did not receive tonight. Instead, I get a whiny little girl speaking back to her elders. Leave it on the doorstep. And if I were you, I'd stay indoors tonight with the windows closed. It's not safe to be out late this time of year. Not safe? What a weirdo. I'm done. I am done.
thought I told you I would only tip it. Thanks for coming. See ya. Do you want me to uh, walk you to your car? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, um, I'm I'm super glad you came tonight. Same. I needed a break. I mean, I'm I'm glad you came. Harvey, you gonna walk me home? Yeah, yeah. One sec. Okay, well, see you at school. See you. Bye. Carve. Yeah, sorry. I love how you paired the pink today. You look nice. Thank you. Um, I ate the rest of your candy corn. I'm really sorry. It's okay. That's what it was there for. Okay. It was good. <laughs> Mr. Murphy? Uh, uh, it's me. It's Mary Eldritch, your neighbor. I just, I wanted to apologize for last night. Mr. Murphy? Hello? Mr. Murphy? Mr. Murphy. What's wrong? 
Mr. Murphy is dead. So the police asked me a ton of questions. It was like they suspected me. Mary, th don't torture yourself, man. It wasn't your fault. Well, I feel like it's my fault because I was probably the last person he ever saw, and I yelled at him. I just, I just wanted a tip, but not this bad. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. You coming? Uh, no, no, actually, I gotta go grab Stephanie for a, a project. Her memorial fund? Good. No, it's, it's a group thing, actually. Hey, um, if you need to get your mind off stuff later, please just text me, okay? Seriously. Okay. Hey, text me, seriously. Come in. Hey, how are you feeling? I am so sorry about what happened. Losing Mr. Murphy, I mean, that can be a really difficult thing to process. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I barely ever saw him. It was just kind of a shock seeing him dead. Yeah, well, I mean, you can talk to me about it. I'll be okay. I'm pretty much over it, I think. Okay. For now, um... But, you know, when you're ready to talk about it, your father and I will be here. Okay. Thanks, Mom. So, um, I gotta get a lot of homework done. Yeah, of course. I am gonna go to bed. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna be available. Like, if you need to wake me up and you need to talk. Good night, Mom. I'm fine, Harvey. Jeez. Gosh, okay, if that is Steve or somebody. Steve? Harvey? Mary, this is ridiculous. Um, did your neighbor maybe have one of those, like, you know, those hanging ghost decorations hanging well, from the tree? Except for, like, a jack-o'-lantern, he never put up decorations. Okay. Um, I mean, he could have done that last night, though. He's dead, remember? Oh, yeah, sorry. 
Look, if you don't believe me... I believe you. Really? Yeah, it's Mr. Murphy's ghost trying to get revenge for taking his Chinese food. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Wait, 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 wait. All right. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a jerk. You're not a jerk. Just, you know, kind of an idiot sometimes. <laughs> Come on. Um, listen, are, are you bugged that I've been hanging out with Stephanie? Okay, I take it back. You're kind of a jerk, too. Mary, you're telling us a ghost story like a week before Halloween. What do you want us to think? Okay, fine. See you later, or not, probably. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like she's just been stressed out about, like, work and homework and all that stuff. You, you know how she's been recently. Mary's been like that since forever. She can be kind of a drama queen sometimes. You remember when she said her neighbor died and then she like totally fell all the pieces? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was yesterday. Or like a few days ago. Anyway, so some old guy passes away and suddenly it's like, stop everything, ah, you know? Well, I uh... don't... Don't worry about her. Worry about us, Harv. Wait, that's, why, 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 would I, why would I worry about us? No, I, I just mean Mary's being funny because of us, you know? Not really. <laughs> so cute sometimes. Thanks. Look, it's just since we started spending time together that Mary got all huffy and nose down on her books and her job. I mean, didn't you notice that? Uh, no, no, I guess I... I guess I didn't. Well, whatever. So you doing something tonight? Um... You're not gonna watch a scary movie without me, I hope. You don't even like scary movies. I never said that. I would totally watch one with you. Oh, okay. Uh... Harvey. Oh, hi, hi, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm getting distracted. I'm making myself like a little snack thingy. Sorry about that. Don't you guys have dinner pretty late most nights? Oh, uh, yeah, but my parents are out of town for the next couple of days still, so I'm here alone. Really? Oh, so, um, are you going to invite me over? Probably not. Harvey! <laughs> Come on, invite me over. No, no, I just mean, like, my, my parents would, would murder me <laughs> if I if they find out that I did that. But they're not there. I could come right over. Um, sorry, no, I don't think that's going to work out. Um, listen, I'm a little busy right now. Do you mind if I, do you mind if I call you back? Uh, fine. Bye. Bye. Jeez Louise.
this is helpful. I already know all this stuff from watching movies. I mean, the best I can come up with is that it's a poltergeist because it keeps moving things. Yeah, but the definition doesn't help us. We need actual information, like why it appeared and why it's haunting us. <laughs> the Paranormal Goon Society? Oh, boy. <laughs> Who are these people? People like us? Yeah, but... I'm not gonna join a weirdo club or anything. Oh, here's something. It says a haunting is an emotion that keeps repeating itself over and over again. Mr. Murphy must have been really upset about his Chinese food. Yeah, or something else, and he's just taking it out on you. And also me, for some reason. <sighs> this is just ridiculous. What happened to us is ridiculous, yet here, here we are. We need more clues, and I don't think we're gonna find them here. I think we're gonna find him in his house. His house? You wanna sneak into Mr. Murphy's house? Do you have a better idea? Look, if we're gonna find something, I feel like it's gonna be in his house. I guess. When do you wanna go? Right now. Wait, wait, now? <sighs> Look, I don't, I don't wanna repeat last night if I don't have to. It's locked. Yeah, I don't think they want anybody trying to break in. I've never really seen the inside of his house. Yeah. No one has. Um, I'm not, um, not dating Stephanie, by the way. I never said you were. Yeah, but I mean, like, I could if I, if I wanted to. Then why don't you? Because I don't want her. Good. Her cat obsession is bizarre. Let's try the back. Okay, fair, but she only has three of them Still now. Too many. <sighs> Dude, what are you doing? It's open. I could have just opened the door for you. <laughs> so what are we looking for exactly? Anything that would indicate what he was doing when he died. You know, it's causing such negative energy that he can't move on. lying on the floor, like, right there when I saw him. Like this? What are you doing? Get up. That is not even respectful. I'm just trying to recreate the scene. An old man was lying dead right there two days ago. Okay, fine, whatever. I just feel like this just feels like any other old person's house. Check the bedroom. So spooky. Jeez. <laughs> I think we should get out of here. What? No, I just barely found something, right? So I was looking through his old stuff, his old books in his room. I think he was very into the whole, like, Irish mythology legend scene. Was he from Ireland? Do you know? Um, yeah. Or at least his family was. Hmm. Gonna keep playing. Wow. Kazoo. This thing's awesome. Let's open it. Wow. 
got his whole life in here. Mm -hmm. letters and stuff, it looks like. What? What's up? What's happening? Okay, I, I'm in this photo. Oh, that's, that's sweet. What? What were they doing with Mr. Murphy? I don't know, hanging out with the, the neighbor? What? Why does he have a photo of us in his stuff? I don't know. Creeper. That's weird. Irish family. Wow, that sounds so interesting. Everything's Irish in his house. He owns everything Irish. This is a house full of Irish. Maybe that's how he died. How? Oh. The drink. goes way deeper than old man Murphy's grumpy spirit. Hmm. It's the police. Are, are you hitting? Yeah, no, I'm not. We broke into a house. You think oh someone didn't see us? Close the right. Close it. I've been reading over that old Murphy history book. Yeah? What does it say about them? It's actually a lot of really interesting stuff. I'm really glad we nabbed this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we broke in and stole stuff. He'll for sure be haunting us now. <laughs> hey, we're solving a mystery, man. Come on. This isn't Scooby-Doo, Harv. This is real life. No, no kidding. Speaking of real life, I, um, <clears throat> I think I figured out what we both saw. And it's um, super scary. Are you ready? Sure. Okay, so I will summarize it for you. Basically, in 500 AD, there was this high king of Ireland named Lugid, right? He was an ancestor of the Murphy Lion, actually. And he found out that his wife had been unfaithful. Lugid? Mm -hmm. Grandson of Nile of the Nine Hostages. It's pretty cool, right? You are such a nerd. <laughs> I mean, I mean, scholarly person. Thank you. Okay, keep going. So basically, he finds out that his wife has been canoodling, and as punishment, he locks her away in a tower in the woods, right? She dies later on of anguish. And here's the really scary part. You ready? So ready. So an ancient pagan spirit, sort of demon monster called Crom Crouch, was attracted by the woman's suffering. I guess he kind of fed off of it or something. He starts haunting all the members of Lugid's clan. He basically attaches itself to them, so no matter where they go or what they do, they always see this apparition on dark and stormy nights, especially around something called Samhain, Samhain? I think it's like a, like a festival or something. Samhain. It's the original Halloween. I think it was the old Celtic New Year's Eve. Wait, how do you know that? My mom explained it to me once. So... Are you saying Mr. Murphy turned into a demon spirit, like in his family's book? No, no, Mary, don't you get it? I think the thing we saw last night was Crom Crouch. An ancient demon from Ireland is haunting us? Hey, you saw the illustration, okay? It fits. Look, I don't know how it got here or what it did to your neighbor, but listen, this is the most important part. It says, it is the responsibility of the eldest living member of Lugan's line, i.e. Murphy's, to placate Crom with offerings just as in olden days. Or it will consume the souls of the High King's lineage one by one until they're all dead. And then it will be free to wreak havoc on the world. So, you're saying Mr. Murphy was next in line in the lineage of the Irish King, and now that he's dead, this, this crom thing is free? 
Murphy's name is near the bottom of the family tree in the book, so yeah, he's gotta be one of the last ones. There aren't any names after his? He had a wife and kid, but they both died a while ago. Wow. Poor Mr. Murphy. No wonder he was so mean. He was probably just really lonely. So it wasn't Mr. Murphy haunting us. It was his family's secret monster. Free now to wreak havoc. Yeah. That's just great. I know. Nothing with Mr. Murphy. At least you're not a creep, Mom. gonna love me for this after she recovers from her heart attack. You first, my lovely lady. What do you mean you can't find the place? It's the barn in the back of my house. Georgia? Is that you? Georgia? Is that you?
Where is it? Oh, man. Uh... Steve? Georgia! In here! Do you want to tell me what all of this is? Uh, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, Georgia, I just saw a ghost. A real life ghost. I'm not kidding. Oh yeah, and then you were gonna scare me with it. <sighs> yeah, hey Harvey, I just got the crap scared out of me. Tell Mary I believe her now. Totally believe her. Come on. You guys are so full of crap. She wasn't there. She doesn't Shut know. Shut up, Georgia. I believe you. Seriously? Because I was there and I didn't see anything. And why are you in such a pissy mood today? <laughs> so, okay, okay, the Murphy book, right? Uh -huh. The Murphy history book? I almost finished reading it, guys. Okay, so the Murphy clan, the ones that came here to Lakeside, initially settled in 1880, right? And uh -huh. they quickly became known as, and I quote, some of the most valuable and contributing members of society. Well, that didn't last. Absolutely not. No, even at the end of the book that I had, there was one of those overdue library, like, stamp cards. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, it, means, it, means the book, it means the book was stolen. Wow. Read a freaking book, kids, my goodness. So that's not all. In 1910, Carnegie, when he built the old library, right, the Murphys donated everything they had, right? Books, old Irish artifacts. So more history stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Who's Carnegie? And why do you know all this random crap? history facts and I don't know guys I think this might be our one like legit chance for a lead so we're going to the library yeah oh man this one's all just census records from when they were in Ireland like extended family history stuff but it doesn't go that far back this box is mostly just Xerox copies of old newspaper clippings there's a lot of stuff in here about a guy named Connor Murphy Ran for mayor in Lakeside. He won, actually. He's the one who donated all this stuff. Xeroxed? Yeah. George is right, you are weird. <laughs> now it's just weird they haven't digitized any of this yet. Maybe they had to pull it out of the basement for a reason. Oh, fair. Uh, Har Harvey, can I talk to you about something, like, in confidence? Yeah, sure, what's up? I found some papers in my mom's closet in her box of family stuff. What kind of papers? Adoption papers. You're adopted? Sort of, I guess. The, the papers were never actually signed. Not signed. Okay, so, so what, is that, what, is that, what does that mean? I, I think it means that technically I'm an O'Connor, not an Eldritch. I don't think that Greg's actually my dad. But the thing is, when I was born, my parents had already been married for three years. Please don't tell anyone about this. No, of course, of course. Have you talked to them? No. Probably should. Look what I found in the restricted section. Harry Potter, anyone? No? Oh, I haven't seen them in, like, forever. Mm. But you watch black and white movies. Fair. It was actually in the folklore and mythology section. Our haunted history, Irish legends, and folklore. Alf Lutra, the Joint Eater, the Banshee, Cassith, Changeling, Crom Crouch, right there. Mm -hmm. It even has a whole section about the origins of Halloween and like trick or treating and stuff. Well, we could find that stuff on the internet. With pictures like these, you guys can keep looking through your historical documents. But after last night, I think this is way more practical. Till after dinner, huh? Are you hungry? What's the matter? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not even sure whose daughter I am. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, honey, honey. Um, uh, where, where did you... In mom's where... closet. Um, 
Maybe, maybe you should talk to your mom. I'm going to, but I need to ask you. Why didn't we tell you? Why, why haven't you signed it? Uh, I, I... Mary, listen. No, no, listen, listen. Wow, this, this is not how I planned on having this conversation. You know, I really wish you to respect our privacy. Your privacy? Your privacy? This is about me! Mom cheated on you, didn't she? That's why you hate me so much. You make sense? Nope. Hey, nobody hates anybody, especially... Hey, Carrie! Honey? Nobody hates anybody, Mary. So what's my real dad's name? What is his name? Don't I at least deserve to know that? Come on, you can bring yourself to tell me I wasn't yours. You can bring yourself to sign it. Can you at least give me something? Hey, I'm coming. What is going on? Oh, no. Mary, what have you done? No, What was that all about there, Harvey? Shut up. <laughs> you were five minutes late. Okay, then. All right. Oh, did you end up uh, talking to your parents? Yeah. How'd that go? <laughs> Not good. Sorry. What are you wearing? Never mind. Just get inside. Jeez, Louise. You look cute, bro. Why is it so dark in here? I don't want him to know we're here. Okay. So you have information? I finished the book. Okay. Did you? find something interesting? Oh, yeah. The ancient Celts believed the time at the end of the harvest and the beginning of winter was when the wall between life and death was thinnest, that the spears could pass through either way. They called it Samhain. How does he know how to pronounce it? Shh. 
When the dark overtakes the light, the book tells how they would gather near ancient tombs and light gigantic bonfires to attract the lost spirits of those who died during the previous year. Showing them the way to the afterlife, the ancients who wear costumes of animal skin to keep the spirits of the Aoshi of the other world from recognizing and tormenting them. Okay, so, so that explains the, 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 the costume. It's not a costume. It's a chip protection. Anyways, I think I figured out what Mr. Murphy was doing. They used to leave food out on their doorsteps around Halloween time to appease the spirits. If a ghost came to your house and found food, they would leave you alone. So you think he was leaving Chinese food on his doorstep to keep this crumb, crumb, whatever, from harming him? Exactly. It was attached to his family, right? But now that he's gone, it's lost in the world until Halloween night. Why Halloween? What happens on Halloween? If it's shown the way to the afterlife, it will be trapped there till the next Halloween. And if it's not shown the way? Well, if what the book says is true, Crom Crook will wreak havoc on the world. Okay, so why didn't Mr. Murphy or any of the other Murphys already direct Crom to the afterlife? I don't know. You're the one that said Crom was trying to kill the Murphys so it could be free. So maybe that had something to do with it. And the book says St. Patrick's destroyed Crom's tomb hundreds of years ago. So maybe they thought they had no tomb to go to. Or maybe they did direct it every Halloween night and didn't bother to tell anyone. Or maybe... Okay, Steve, we get it. We have to direct it to a tomb by Halloween night, which is tomorrow, and not get killed. And if we mess up, then everyone is screwed. Any ideas? I've got a plan. Oh, boy. Steve, what could you possibly be doing tonight? Steve, just text me back. Hello? You can come in. Ring doesn't help if it's not on my phone, Mom. I'm coming! Harv, do you think Steve's totally crazy? Are we all just going crazy? No, I actually, unfortunately, I think he has a pretty solid idea of what's happening. Great. Yeah. This is all my fault. I can't believe something so awful could happen just because I was an idiot. Oh, come on, Mary. No, don't, don't blame yourself. Come on. Well, I, I do. I feel terrible because I started all of this. I messed with his offering. Who's offering? Mr. Murphy's, the Chinese food. He knew what he was doing. I thought he was crazy. Just an old crank who never tipped, but now look what's happening. It is a lot. I practically murdered him, Harvey. No, no, you didn't. Stop doing that to yourself. Stop. I did. I messed up his offering. Now he's dead. There's some kind of ancient death god on the loose. It could be any one of us next. Oh my gosh. I oh, think I'm oh. gonna be sick. Okay, are, are you gonna like pass out? Are you no, gonna sit I'm down? Gonna puke. Okay, okay, okay. Here, we'll get you. One sec. Okay. It's Georgia. Why didn't you take Steve? She's probably messing with you. She said, help, it's in my house.
believe it now. All of it. So why are we building a tomb? Couldn't we just go to a cemetery and use the graves? A graveyard wouldn't work. There's no tombs there for Chrome to enter. The ancients gathered around a megalithic tomb with an entrance to the other world. As I figured, we need to be as close to an Irish tomb as possible. And I don't think anyone's gonna let us dig an entrance to their grave. Yeah, because this looks just like Ireland. You're such a nerd. Just finished stacking the stupid rocks, okay? Yeah, whatever you say, Your Majesty. Okay, so Krom is lured here by the bonfire and us, and then we lead him to this tomb. Okay, um, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. It's not gonna work. Why not? This was your plan. Because unless something is buried in there, it's not a real tomb. There's no link to the other world. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly who we have to call. And, uh, you're gonna have to talk to her, pretty boy. Who? So, you want me to what? Uh, exhume your cat. You know, we just wanted to give her a proper burial. I know how much Eleanor meant to you and everything. So we built her a monument. We built her a monument, and we just wanted to show proper respect for the dead. Who is we? Oh, you know, just, just the gang. It's uh, Steve, Georgia, Mary. Myself. The gang. Oh, well, we don't really talk like that anymore. Also, what does exhume mean? Um... Dig up. Ew, no! No, that's, oh, that's so gross. Harvey, what are you talking about? To ask anyone to dig up their pet or literally any animal is disgusting and that's really disrespectful. The monument would be nice though. But Harvey, I don't even know why you're calling me because I gave you a chance and you missed it, so bye. No, no, wait. He'll be texting me back any second now. Right? He will. Yes, he will, Atlas. She hung up. Nice idea. What now? You guys aren't seriously giving up that easily, are you? She's not gonna let us dig up her cat. Okay, well, here's a bright idea. What if we just didn't ask her? No. <laughs> Mary, you're killing Yeah, me. you want Crom to be set free on the world tonight? Okay, what's the plan? Um, hello, Harv. Hi, Stephanie, hi. Um, you look, you look beautiful. You look so good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Um, I, look, I, I just ca I came to apologize um, about being insensitive Oh, about, about wanting to dig up my cat. Yeah, that's okay, it's fine. <sighs> You're not the first person to ask to do that before, so. Okay, uh, so, oh, I have this, um, this is for you. Uh, um, Stephanie, I wanted to ask you on a, a proper date tonight. Harvey, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tonight? Yes, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Did you find it? Yeah. Does it matter which one? Yeah, the freshest one. Ew. She has painted every single stone with her cat's names. It's Eleanor. How do you know that? I saw the picture she posted. I, w I was wondering if you would be my Halloween queen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I already, like, totally made some plans tonight, so. Oh, it's, oh, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. There's gonna be, like, uh, like the costumes, decorations. So, okay, so you want me to be your Halloween queen? Yes, that'd be great. That'd be so good. Um, Harvey, what are you really doing here? Um. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Stop. You put this whole thing together just to surprise me. Uh, already. Um, 
Do you, do you think you're going to be ready in, 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 in time? I don't know. You haven't told me where or when it is. Silly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's at this old barn. It's by this big grassy field. Uh, here, let me show you on the map. The map? Mm -hmm. Here, oh, you know what? We can just... Or I could just use your hand. Oh, that's OK. So oh, this ow. is uh, Hobble Avenue. This is yes. Cherry Creek Lane. There's the barn. Man, he's really putting the moves on her. At what time? Like 7 or midnight. Or like in between, like 8 or 9. You know what? Let's say I'm going to make the executive decision. I'm going to pick you up at 8. OK. That's, this is kind of strange, but <laughs> OK. Great. So is that, is that, is that a yes? Uh, yeah. <gasps> can it possibly be to dig up a dead cat? Oh! Wow. Well, you, Harv, you, uh, you're, you're funny. <laughs> hmm. So I will, I'll see you today. Uh, uh-huh. I'll pick mm. you up. Okay. Oh, uh, the, the, the theme, the theme is, uh, for the costumes, is animals. Animals? It's an animal theme. Okay. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> I'll remind you. Okay. I'll text you. Oh, great. Okay. So <laughs> Bye. You're not actually planning on picking her up, right? Oh. Well, I have to now. I don't want to be a jerk. I think in this instance, it's totally acceptable for you to be a jerk. No, you didn't see her face. If I stand her up, I'm going to break her heart. She was so excited. You're ridiculous. You're actually insane, Harvey. That lip color looks really great on you, by the way. She's a good kisser. Let's go. Mary, do the honors. I cannot believe we just did this. Look, it has to be an actual tomb to catch crumb. Who knows, maybe a real eulogy might help. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Here we have buried this cat. It was run over by a car. Um, its name was... Eleanor. Eleanor. Um, <laughs> its name is Eleanor. And may it rest in peace for a little while. And may Stephanie not know until later. Oh, hey, freaking man. <laughs> Good enough. That is one excellent Irish tale. Let's hope the Crom thinks so. <sighs> Sorry, Ralph. Hey. What you doing? I'm making a costume. For work? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, if I end up um, taking any orders tonight. Well, you should. Everybody orders out on, on Halloween. Nobody wants to spend the night cooking. You know? Right. And, and a good costume, that'll, that'll help you with some tips, you know? Mm-hmm. Listen, uh, Mary. I wanted to say I'm sorry for everything. You're working, and uh, I've had to work on myself a little bit, of, uh, sort a few things out. But I want you to know I'm proud of your efforts. Your mom and I, we had a good talk. And uh, we're going to help you pay for your college. Not everything, but I'd, I'd like to help you with your tuition and, you know, at least make sure the first few semesters go, uh, go smoothly. How's that sound? Thank you, Dad. Your father's name was Patrick. What happened to him? 
He died in a car crash. You were about a year old. You'll be safe out there, okay? Watch out for trick-or-treaters and, and work hard. Okay. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> so why uh, I have to take this off. No! Back on! No, 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 please, please, e stop. Leave it on. Why? It's for your own safety. For your own safety? I cannot believe that he actually brought her. Mm -hmm. mm. I love Wings Chinese. It's so good. I love the noodles. Yeah, well, it seemed to fit the occasion. I love them. With your mouth closed, please. Harvey, this is so fun. Mm. 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 So, um, Mary, who's your who's your date? Oh, um, <clears throat> he's uh, he he. You'll meet him like later. He's he's gonna probably show up like later tonight. That's right. He'll hopefully make an appearance later. I'll be flying last minute. <laughs> Who is he? Okay, it's, it's almost 9 o'clock. I think we should get this party started. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What? <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna light the bonfire. Oh. common name. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. So are we gonna make marshmallows or what's happening? So is he coming? I don't know. Who? Your date? No, Crom. Who's Crom? Nobody. Okay. Okay, so it's been super fun and everything, but it's like almost midnight and we haven't done anything Halloween-y. So uh, I'm just gonna head out. <clears throat> Coming with Har? Har? Stephanie, I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't. Oh. I, I'm, I'm sincerely, I'm so sorry. Look, I get it. Um. No, it's. I'm gonna go. Stephanie, no, please. Stephanie, please, please. You, you, can't, you can't go, okay? Why? You, you just can't, okay? Why? Um, guys. Don't look at me. Don't look at. She's part of this now, all right? <laughs> She's just as in much danger as the rest of us. That's her freaking cat we buried Harvey. up there. Who's to say Crom isn't gonna go after her? What was the thing about my cat? Um, she knows too much. We'll have to tie her up. Oh, no, no, Steve, we are not tying her up. What did you do with my cat? I, nothing. You did it. Stephanie, 
just... You... I... Did... Not... I know it's Harvey! Hey, hear me, we're trying to save the world, Sammy! Eleanor! <laughs> Eleanor! We should tie her up. No. Wait, listen to me. I don't know what's wrong with you people, but you need some serious help. Stephanie. I can't believe I let you kiss me. Please. Eleanor. Stephanie, you have to listen to me. Eleanor! You have to leave it. You have to leave it. We'll die. It's okay. It's okay. What the hell was that? What the... Eleanor? Eleanor, is that you? Eleanor? Hey, Eleanor? Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm done. Okay. It's not one of you guys. Ah! Oh, it's done. Come on, move towards the fire. Towards the fire. Towards me. Move towards the sand. Oh, my voice. It's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to freeze to death. We're trying to save your freaking life. You guys. I just got chills. He's here. Who's here? Stephanie. Be quiet. Okay, sorry. You remember what I told you about Mr. Murphy's family tree? Yeah. I told you he had a son, right? The one that died as a child. What? No, no. He died when he was like 30. Oh. Anyway, his name was Patrick. That's where I remember hearing the name from. Mr. Murphy's son, Patrick, died in an accident like 17 years ago. What? Shh. When he appears, everyone quietly follow Mary toward the tomb. Eldritch, 
And I'm the only daughter of Patrick Murphy. The only son of Seamus Murphy. I am the final living heir of his lineage. And you are bound to me. I demand you let him go. Mary? What are you doing? Two minutes till midnight. Shh. Unless you kill me first. <laughs> Midnight on the dot. Hey guys, we just killed a demon. Shut up, Greg. 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 Are you okay? <coughs> yeah. I think I hit my head. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. Mary, I'm sorry. Whatever happened, I'm I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm good. What what, what was that that thing? It's a, it's gone now. It's over. Greg, whatever happened between you and Mom, I know I remind you of it every day, and I'm sorry for that. But I really need you to be my dad. I am your dad, and you are my little girl. Don't you ever forget it. <coughs> help me, help me get out. Oh. 
Can someone explain to me what the hell just happened? It all started with the book. <laughs> Come on, man. So, Sorry again about the, the makeout. The makeout situation. Wait. You don't even look good in your costume. I'm not even a Halloween queen, am I? Don't you want to know more about the book? No. She really doesn't. We just saved the world! You're the greatest! <laughs> Straight from my nightmares to my life 